Hello, I'm Pastor David. I'm one of your associate pastors at Riceville United Methodist Church. And it's my joy and excitement today to bring the children's sermon. So if you have children or youth nearby who are, who are already watching the video, now's a good time to call them over. So as you can see, I'm not in church. <laughs> Nope, this past week I was able to head up to the mountains for a couple of days and I'm actually out on the ski slopes. Skiing is one of my favorite things to do in the whole world, but it has to be snow skiing, not water skiing. I'm not so good at that. I've learned a lot from skiing over the last more than 40 years of skiing. I've learned a lot about life. I've also learned some things about Christian discipleship because some of the principles are the same. For example, when you're skiing on the snow, you get up to the top of the slope or even the top of the mountain, and sometimes you, it looks like you can see forever. Today it's a little foggy, so you wouldn't be able to see forever. But sometimes it seems like you can. Well, there comes a point where you have to commit. You have to go for it. You have to go over the edge if you're gonna ski down the mountain. Otherwise, you have to take your skis off and walk down and where's the fun in that? <laughs> so, in the same way, if you're going to be a Christian, if you're going to be a follower of Jesus, there comes a time when you have to commit. You have to go for it. You have to make that commitment. You have to decide, I am going to be a Christian. I am going to be a follower of Jesus. And then another thing about snow skiing that I've learned is the worst thing you can do is come to the slopes the first time, put on a pair of skis, go to the top of the mountain, and then just go for broke coming down. Everybody needs instruction. It is so helpful to have that instruction. You'll enjoy skiing a whole lot more once you learn how to do it the best way. Well, in the same way, being a Christian, you need instruction. And that's why we have church. That's why we have Sunday school. That's why we have children's ministry activities and youth ministry activities. All of that helps us to be instructed on the best way to be a Christian, the most effective way to be a follower of Jesus. Well, what kind of things do you learn in instruction? Well, um, for snow skiing, one of the first things you learn is how to stop. And that's so important. It's so important to be able to stop. You know, you're going down the slope, somebody turns in front of you. If you can't stop, you're gonna run right over them. It's so important. Well, in the same way in our Christian lives, there are times when we find out we need to stop doing certain things because it's not helping us to be a good Christian. And we need to do some uh, different things. And then another thing you, you learn in the instruction in your ski lessons, you learn how to turn, and that is so important. Let's say you're going down the slopes, you look up and your head is straight for a tree. It is so helpful to be able to turn right or left and go around that tree. So you can see there are a lot of parallels between being a Christian and snow skiing. Well, I hope that someday maybe You'll have a chance to go snow skiing if you haven't already. I hope you'll like it as much as me. Maybe we'll even see each other on the slope someday. And I also hope that if you haven't already made that commitment, I hope that you will make a commitment to be a follower of Jesus. Let's pray together. Lord God, I give you thanks for the beauty of your creation and that I can be out in creation in the winter. Uh, enjoying the beauty, enjoying the fun of skiing. We thank you for the lessons we learn from skiing that parallel important things in our lives as Christians. Bless the children and youth of our church and community and all those watching this video today and their families. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Hope to see you on the slopes. Now I'm gonna pick up my skis and we'll just uh, ski down for a ways, okay? How about that? The old guy can still see you Sunday.